band back together. Okay. No way. We're on a mission from God. So the diet's going well, folks. Mmm. It is Saturday, after all. After this heart attack on a plate, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. Whether I'm going to have a day off with the kids, or go to the unit and do something up there. Jem? Yeah? What do you want to do today? Uh, Dad's just thought of something that we can do. So we can head outside, and we can go somewhere to go to the beach. And we've decided to take Nanny with us because she said she wanted to go. Like, you know when we get to the beach, um, I might um, build a sandcastle with seashells and these little gems. But it's freezing, Abs. Let's have a look at your gems. Right, so get your shoes and coat on, then we'll go and have fish and chips on the beach at Cleethorpes. And maybe an ice cream with it. Uh, so, taking advice from lots of people in the comments over the past two months, I haven't really had a day off, and today we're fortunate enough to have Gemma and the kids off school and work, it's Saturday, so we're going to go across to Cleethorpes and have fish and chips on the beach. Uh, it's, it's half past eleven, so it's late, we're late doing this, but why not? No pressure. No pressure. So we're just in the car outside Nanny's house. Yep. The kids have shifted up to make room for her. And we're going to be going any minute now. It's half past 11. And even though we're in the car outside Nanny's house, we still can't get away from the tank build project. So this came and Gemma was bringing it to work for me yesterday. It is the 2% thoriated 2. Point, oh, the 1.6. I swear I ordered 2.4 millimetre tungstens. Well, they've sent 1.6 anyway. I'll have to double check on that, and we'll see. So, kids, believe it or not, we're going to the seaside with a source of nuclear radiation in the car. Okay. These are radioactive. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. Thoriated tungstens. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, mummy. Just hold me that a sec, don't while I get in. Oh. Are you going to the beach? You going to the beach? Hang on, let's get my belt. Where is it? Is your door shut? Where does it come from it's, that side? No, it, you're blind. It's I was looking up here for it. Oh, it's. <laughs> and then where's yours? Can I have one of your bags of candy floss, please, Ellie? Thank you. Ta. Abby! Oh, 
Yeah. It'll blow away. Come on, Dom, you found the parkour course. Yeah, do it. Having a nice cup of tea, Dom? Yep. And me? You're looking at the camera, sweetheart, not the viewfinder. And me. <laughs> Guess about half three. Half three. So the plan was to have an ice cream on the beach, which you've done. We're near the beach. We're near the beach, <laughs> but it's Close it's far too cold outside to do anything. But we did stumble across uh, a beer specialist bar. Mm. Might be worth another look. So we've ditched the kids with Pam. <laughs> so the old queen's watching them. And we walked past a specialist beer bottle shop called Message in a Bottle. So we're uh, we're en route to try and find it now. So uh, we'll take some shots when we get there, I think. So we haven't actually got the uh, the sat nav out. We're finding a way through all the little snickets and yeah. uh, ginnels, which we've never been down before. Yeah, so I think we'll pop out pretty much opposite it down here. Yeah. I don't think we'll be far away at all. I think we'll have to just turn right a little bit. That Edward Scissorhands in that flat shop with his knives. <laughs> Someone's having a good rock and roll bed. <laughs> I think we found it. Oh, what's going on? Mate, you're all right. I'm all right. No, no paparazzi. I'm just trying to live a normal life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So am I. <laughs> unfortunately. How's it going? All right. We just uh, had a stroll past and saw you. Do you usually have the hand pulls on there? Uh, so uh, the bar is open Saturday and Sunday, Tuesday to Friday. We're a shop and weekend shopping bar. I think I'll have a whirl on the RPA. Fantastic. Like half one pint. I'll have an half. Yeah. Everybody was a bit dubious at first about having one loo. Yeah. But people seem to be working with it. We've only got one loo, and it, when it works, it works. Yeah, that's yeah. it, if you need it. When it didn't work last, about two weekends ago, <laughs> it was a fucking nightmare. Just picked up a couple of beers from the chaps at Message in a Bottle. Was it Charles and Ryan? Ryan. Charles and Ryan. I think it was Charles and Ryan. Cheers, lads. Next time we're in Cleethorpes, we'll be back. And uh, if you're in Cleethorpes, check them out. So we've got to get back onto the coast now, pick the kids up. The windy, freezing, cold coast. You can hear the wind on the flagpoles. Jesus Christ. Anything you want, Gem? I'm good for today, thanks. Don't lie. Oh, Abby! Hey. They've got mambas in <clears throat> stock. Maybe next oh, no. time. <laughs> Bring me a dream. Bring me a dream.
or something different today. It was so freaking cold. Not many places I could put the camera down because the mic and the camera was just getting buffeted by the wind. It was crazy. So, lots of arty shots, lots of time lapse. That's about as good as it's going to get for today. So I will show you a few of the beers that I picked up from the bottle shop, Message in a Bottle. And uh, the chaps in there were really quite nice actually, had a good chat with them. First beer I got, Verdant, Track and Field, India Pale Ale, coming in at 7.2%, Simcoe, Mosaic and Lalbrew New England Yeast. Very good of Verdant there to be putting all of these details on the back. Second beer we've got, Wild Weather Ales, I've had a few of theirs before, and this is Went in Bruges, Belgian American IPA, 6% volume. Very, very nice looking can, as you can see. We'll bring it into the light a little bit. The can looks fantastic on that one. Third one is another 440 can. This is Locker Poly, a Chinook Simcoe India Pale Ale. And these guys, these guys are based in Wales. Again, nice arty can actually, it's just a picture of flowers. Looks like some type of uh, hydrangea. 6% IPA Chinook Simcoe. This one here, West Coast IPA by Marble. Marble do some fantastic beers. This one's Damage Plan. It says marble beer produced to metal standards, whatever that means. But yeah, this West Coast IPA does not tell you what hops they've used in there, but at 7.1% it's going to be a banger. And then Bricknell Brewery, never heard of these guys, Kingston up on Hull, I wonder if Steve Molson's heard of him, I'm sure he has. These are bottle conditioned, this is their Cascade Pale. And 5.1%, so we'll dive into this one too. So, all very interesting. That's what I'm going to have to settle down tonight. Get rid of the chewing gum before I drink any of the beers. And we will see you tomorrow for the Sunday edition. <laughs>